Yo, what's good, family? Welcome to season two of Charlie Talks. I'm your host, Charlie Thrashington, a better known to you as your auntie's play cousin. But the only thing we are playing are those bed springs, brother. Scrooky, scrooky. I know it's been a minute. Your boy Charlie been making his rounds lately, hopping from place to place and party to party like Walter McCarty, or New York City Mayor Eric Adams, AKA the P. Diddy of politics. Take that, take that. That brother been more active than Black China's OnlyFans. That reminds me, Boy Meets Grills, I need you to stop using my account to flog your dolphins, which you now mean you heard me. You know what I mean. But enough with that. Since I got you here, let's start the show. As the nation deals with high inflation rates, Families across America are left with the rising cost of gas, health and medical bills, and most importantly, food prices. Gotta eat. For example, last week I went to a corner store for an egg and cheese, and Poppy said, that'll be $23.50. I said, no way, oh, por favor, you can egg and cheese these nuts. He then, in return, replied something I won't repeat on air, expletive, 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 if you get my drift, and then reached for his tool quicker than Bob Vila at a construction site. Safe to say, I'm not allowed at the store anymore, but I'll go back. Anyway, with these rising costs, what are families to do? Rented mortgages continue to go up and salaries remain stagnant. Families are now faced with deciding whether to choose to eat dinner or setting this one out. I'm sorry, Jacob. We can't have dinner tonight because your dad is a simp and has a dead end job where he can only afford a weekly Metro card and money for his crack addiction. And even though we're not gonna eat tonight, son, I'm still gonna need those spoons, Flair. It doesn't take a mathematician or Helen Keller's eyes to see that we need some aid up in this bitch. Stimulus package us. Hell, I'll take an Amazon package if it helped put food on the table. Maybe instead of canceling a portion of student debt, Joe, maybe we should make housing more affordable. Do away with all city and state university tuition and encourage stronger labor force in, a, in this country instead of outsourcing our work overseas. I'm tired of calling T-Mobile customer care and needing subtitles to understand Bishra. I just want to pay this bill, sis. No need to read that script. If I was president, like the Wyclef song, I'd be elected on Sunday and then on Monday morning I would quit because America is a big trash can fire. It's bad enough that Trump 2024 run back is possible, but then we have to be poor and have upward mobility. It's hard for us. Recently, Bank of America began their new homeowners initiative program. This program is to assist black and brown families with loans that could cover down payments, closing costs, and other expenses. That's worth a shot if you have aspirations of owning property, but just want to erase the funny style practices with people of color you've done to people in the past, Shank of America. Shame on you, but also, I'll take that bag if you're giving it up, Chuck. I ain't no dummy. Hopefully something will give, because her brother got places to go and things to see. Can you dig it? And she's stacked like a truck, skirt, skirt. I'm pulling up. I mean, new EP will be in these streets, selling quicker than those furry street sweep slippers you ladies like to wear. Them things dragging more concrete than a day laborer. And fellas, your fate is here. Seen some of your bros out here wearing jeans tighter than Tisha Campbell and Tisha Arnold. Real tight. As Jenny Allen would say, homie, how did you get in those jeans? Well, I gotta go now. You want lower rent? Don't need no war. Wanna eat steak instead of paint chips? Hold Charlie this fall. You're mad at your bills high. Can't call in sick no more. No COVID, no monkpox. Vote Charlie 24. Love, peace, and a good, good slow dubbage from a nice fine thing them. See you later.